everyone. Um, welcome back to the channel. Um, I am bringing classroom management, um, the series back. Um, I feel like teachers right now, especially now, need resources um, to help stay afloat in the classroom. Um, and so I'm hoping to give out advice um, any, and resource links um, at the bottom of the videos. Um, the, the tips are for people also, um, if you're homeschooling, um, you can use some of the things I'm saying as well and um or if you're in the classroom so for today um i am starting painting in my class so um just a little tip um like kitchen items make really good organizers for classrooms believe it or not um and ice cube trays really help separate all the colors for painting um, students tend to overdo the paint on their paintbrush. So they kind of dip the whole paintbrush in and then they're trying to mix colors and they kind of overdo um, the colors on their paintbrush. So um, the ice cube trays help them not use quite so much paint, um, helps you regulate the paint as a teacher. Um, and you can also kind of reuse it for your next class and already be prepped and ready to go. So just a little tip, uh, hopefully you use, use it in the classroom. Um, if you want to write in the comments below um, how you separate your pain in the class, um, I would love for this to be more of a conversation between um, me and you guys out there. So um, let me know how you run painting in your classroom um, and do you put it on plates or are you gonna try this tip with the ice cube trays? All right, thanks for joining me for another video, guys. Um, smash that subscribe button um, for more videos. All right, bye, see you in the next one.